get started. So this is the second league of the day. We played a sublist with blue list shadows, like a shadow zoo-ish deck, but it had Dreadhorde Arcanist in it uh, earlier today. You can find that somewhere on my YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Um, for those of you here on Twitch, uh, I guess you'll have to check out the YouTube channel. There's a link in the uh, panels. But, um, yeah, the second league of the day. This is, I believe, the exact 75 that Canister, also known as Peter Glogowski, uh, posted on his Twitter saying he went like 16 and 9 or whatever with. And apparently this deck is all over Moto. Um, apparently it's all over the place. I haven't seen it yet. I just played a league and didn't see it. But uh, apparently this deck is just being tried out by everybody. It's using the new card Neoform, which is basically just a pod activation. Like text for text, it's a pod activation that just puts a counter on your creature. Um, with the Allosaurus Riders thing, which is, if you remember, this is something we tried with Eldritch Evolution, right? When this card was released, but we didn't have like a critical mass of stuff to actually uh, use. Like we didn't have a critical mass of Eldritch Evolution. So apparently with four more Neoforms, this deck has a chance. So what we're doing is we're using Allosaurus Rider. We're trying to pod or Eldritch Evolution it into Grizzlebrand. Draw a billion D cards, do the Nourishing Shoal thing. We have this, like, Fat Lard thing to pitch to Nourishing Shoal. Also pitches to Allosaurus Riders, so the green card's important. Um, gain a billion life, uh, draw our cards. We have 15 lands, and we can pitch them to Lightning Storm, or we can draw our entire deck in Laboratory Maniac. Um, I guess for the sake of the Laboratory Maniac, we have, like, Wild Cantor or whatever to, like, cast it. Um, Lightning Storm to pitch all our lands, which does, what, 3 damage a land? So, theoretically, we have 30 damage. We're down one land, then we only have 14 damage. So this deck can win on turn one. We have Chancellor of the Annexes to generate some mana at the, at the opening hand. That's also a green card after you get your mana to pitch to Allosaurus Rider. So this card is really, really good with Allosaurus Riders. Um, we got... I guess casting the is kind of hard. So you have, like... You just make a mana with this on turn one, play your land, uh, pitch two green cards to your Allosaurus Riders, cast your Neoform, and go off. Um, we have Summoner's Packs to function as extra copies of Allosaurus Riders. Um, so, like, you basically have eight Allosaurus Riders and eight ways to get rid of it, which is the Sneak and Joe math, right? Like, Sneak and Joe has eight ways to put creatures in and eight creatures. So, like, it's the same kind of math as Sneak and Joe with, like, far worse cantrips. So, this deck sounds on the surface like if it's going to be a little more variance ridden than Sneak and Joe, then it's going to be um, worse, like, as far as, like, consistency. So I imagine this deck is probably not going to break Modern Open, but people have already, like, started using the ban word. So we'll see. People are notoriously uh, notoriously bad about using the ban word far too early with Modern decks that are, like, kind of combo-oriented. But we're going to try it out. Dissenter's Deliverance looks a little odd. I guess it's because Grafter's Cage is the best, like, the best and only really reasonable piece of graveyard hate. Or, I'm sorry, graveyard hate. Piece of hate for this deck. And it's also, like, a green card for Allosaurus Riders that cycles. So maybe that's just good enough. I, I would suspect that... This subset, actually, there's probably more. I would suspect that, like, this subset of cards is, like, kind of just nonsense right now. Um, probably these are, too, actually, because you have Allosaurus Riders and Chancellors to pitch to Nourishing Shoals. So, like, maybe, like, all of these cards are just, like, these nine cards are probably just, like, not figured out yet. Whereas, like, this is, like, the Ad Nauseum kill conditions, and that seems pretty reasonable. Um, and, like, all of these cards seem like, you know, they're four ofs and cards that belong in the deck. I don't know if the 15 land total makes sense. Um, we have Gemstone Mines, I guess, in case we want to cast Lightning Storm off of it. But we really just need untapped blue-green sources, and so these all fit the bill. So 15 lands is reasonable. But, um, actually, Shock Lands seem actually kind of horrific. These lands might be pretty bad. Any, any land that deals this damage seems pretty awful in our Grizzlebrand deck. But, what do I know? Um, but I think that, like, so these slots are probably just, like, still going to have to be figured out. So these are the ones I'd be keeping my eye on when we're playing games to see if these cards are actually good or if they should be, like, something else. I don't know what else. I'm not exactly this deck's designer or anything, but I think those are the cards you should probably keep an eye on. Um, not, like, Noxious Revival. Like, we're not a Storm deck. Why is this card in our deck? What are we, what are we putting on top? Like, that goes to the graveyard. Are they going to kill our Grizzle brand? Like, what, what, why is this card in our deck? I don't know. Puts Nourishing Shoal on top. That's kind of nice. So is it just an extra Nourishing Shoal? Do we just find out we need five Nourishing Shoals? Once again, don't know. Um, but I'm excited to give this deck a try. It's pretty straightforward other than that. Just like try to get the Grizzle, Grizzle Brand to play. Draw your cards. Use the win conditions. Uh, but do it faster than Ad Nauseam does it in Modern. So we're going to give it a try. 
Uh, the sideboard, I don't really get the sideboard. This seems like it's probably still under construction as well. It feels like we want four Leyline of Sanctities, because I feel like one of the main hate cards for our deck, other than Grafter's Cage, is discard spells. So, I feel like I'll, we're a four Leyline deck in our sideboard. Like, I don't know how reasonable more Pact of Negations are, but whatever. We got Leyline of Sanctities, we got a pair of them. We got a pair of pair, Pact of Negations to go with the main deck one. Good for beating counter spells. Uh, I imagine the spell pierces are also pretty good at beating counter spells. Um, Pongify and Rapid Hybridization. You got a 1 1 split. These answer creatures, but not permanently. But you don't really need to answer them permanently. You just need to get like the meddling mage out of the way for, you know, or whatever. Um, Chalice of the Void, probably for like Phoenix. Or I don't really know what else. Maybe, maybe it's like the rack. Just randomly bodies the rack. <laughs> but. We have three Chalice of the Voids. The card picked up in Modern because of Phoenix, so I'm probably going to bring it in against Phoenix. This turn one Chalice on one seems great. But, like, we have a bunch of one-drops in our deck, too. Interesting. And then, I guess this Ender's Deliverance is good with Chalice. Like, it's a cantrip that doesn't get countered, so maybe we just bring that in, too. This Ender's Deliverance for when we actually probably want to use the blow-up artifacts mode. Um, so, that's probably... It's probably the only reason it's in our sideboard, because it looks kind of wacky having these, like, main deck cards in our sideboard. And Engineer Explosives for just utility? I don't, I don't really know what's a bad matchup. Probably Humans. Humans is probably like a pretty bad matchup, I guess. Because like Meddling Mage seems very impactful. Because you just like name all source Riders and they can't do anything. So it's probably for Humans. Um, also for like maybe other decks like Whirr or whatever. They're just going to like put some permanents in play that you need to like blow up multiple of potentially. So that's all. these are all guesses. Uh, this deck does win without combat, which is nice. Um, that, that gives it a little bit of advantage over, like, Grishol Brand, which is another all-in, like, Grizzle Brand deck. And also, it uses the Ad Nauseam win conditions, so, like, it, like, not only does it win without combat, it wins without the Graveyard either, which is really, really nice. So, I don't know, that's all I have really to say about it. We're gonna, we're gonna check it out, see how it plays, and we're gonna jump in. So, there you go. Let's do it. Of note, if you don't summon this pack Grizzle Brand into play, we can pass the turn and attack with any Grizzle Brand. That's true. Although, I suspect if this deck's attacking with a Grizzle Brand, then we're doing it wrong. I feel like this is probably one of the better Grizzle Brand decks, so. Let's do it. Let's neoform some people. I guess let me update Let me update the stream decker real quick. I forgot to do that. And I need to also update the Twitch. Uh, boop. Uh, neoform combo. Come on. Stream Decker, I believe in you. There you go. Okay. Boop. Modern Neoform Combo. Boop. All right, update the information. Come on, Twitch. Boop, back. All right. And let's do it. Let's do it. No trophies. Did not trophy. Started 3-0 with the Shadow Deck. Unlucky. I had two trophies last season just from streaming. So that's kind of nice. I do not play enough Moto to be anywhere on this leaderboard, though. Join match. Let's play. Let's claim some victims. It's Neoform all over people. Would you like to play first? I would love to. Does this kill somebody on turn one? No. Is this like a functional hand anyway? We're just like only missing an Allosaurus Riders, right? How well does this deck mulligan to Allosaurus Riders plus like turn one thing? Like I just legitimately don't know. We're also discard resilient, which is like randomly really nice. Serum Visions draws to eight. So we have four shots at an 8 of to kill them on turn 2, right? Is that good math to everybody? I think 4 shots... I'm not a genius, but I think 4 shots at an 8 of on turn 2 is really good. So I think I'm going to keep this. I might be supposed to mulligan this because this deck probably mulligans pretty well, but I want to try to go for it. I guess just like shock play this go. I don't want to do that. I want to look like Phoenix, so I'm going to do this. All right, let's find a Riders. That's a Riders. Bottom top. All right, looks like we got the turn two set up. Pretty nice. 
You can also combo off at instant speed, so there's no need to be hasty. Oh, this... No, you can't. This is sorcery. Oh, well, they're dead. My opponent played a thing and passed. Opponent. All right, let's figure this out. Ugh. Um, Cast. Go grab this thing. So we're going to pitch Eldritch Evolution, Chancellor of the Tangle to cast this. Play land, cast Neoform. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. Or do we need the Wild Canter? I don't know. I'm just going to hold the Wild Canter. We probably need it. Boop. Boop. To play around triple gut shot? You're a genius. Well, they actually, they don't get priority, so we can just do it like this. We can still do it like this. They don't get priority. All right. There we go. We played around triple gut shot. All right. Sacrifice this. All right. All right. Well, their first game with the deck, we're uh, killing them on turn two. Feels pretty nice. Here's a Grizzle Brand with a counter on it. Play seven, draw seven. Uh, okay. Play seven, draw seven. Looking for one of those stupid worm things. Here's the stupid worm thing. Cast by exiling a green card from my hand. Exile this one. Gain 15. Do I want to just like draw my whole deck? I kind of do. Uh, we can just play a bunch of Allosaurus Riders and shit too. Uh, sure. I'll pay seven, draw seven. Yeah, I kind of just draw my whole deck. Why is that? Why is that weird? How many more cards do I need to draw? Kind of a lot. Uh, did we draw another shoal? Yeah, we did. All right, cool. So I exile a green card from my hand. Exile this wormy thing. Twenty-seven. So we can draw. We can probably draw our whole deck. Yeah, we need to. We need to like if I hit one more. We can draw our whole deck. All right, let's just pay seven, draw seven. I'm gonna probably lab man them because I don't want to go through the trouble of figuring out lightning storm at all. Uh, what is this? Eight mana. This the deck. This is the next biggest thing in our deck, right? Is this Chancellor? Exiling it. All right. Uh, face seven, draw seven. All right, so we can... Can we activate it a third time? We need... Uh, what is it? Seven mana? I guess I can just mana morphos. Yeah, I can mana morphos. All right, fine. Yeah, we're going to do that. Exile Simon Spirit Guide... We have all the spirit guides. Exile, assuming spirit guide. Uh, oh, I don't have the other. I don't have the other spirit guide, right? That's what I'm missing. So maybe I screwed up. I don't know. Haven't really figured it out yet. What have I screwed up, chat? Huh? There are 14 more cards in the deck. Necker for 7 twice. You can draw your whole deck currently. You just need to land, man. Just draw 7 again. Alright, yeah, fine. Whatever. Boop. Yeah, I guess I'm just supposed to, like... Yeah, there's the spear guide. Alright. I'm gonna land, man. I wanted to cast the Manamorphos to, like... I want to cast the Manamorphos first, so I only had to activate it one more time and I didn't have to figure anything else out. So, let's do that. Where's the Manamorphos? There it is. Boop. Uh, uh, red, blue, cast the lab man, and then we'll activate. Where's my laboratory maniac? Oh, there he is. Boop. And we'll play seven, draw seven. We win! We're owning! Yay! <laughs> I killed him on turn two. 
Well, so if I if the last two spirit guides were in the bottom six cards of my library, I kind of hosed myself, right? By like taking that line, because then I can't draw the last seven cards. Like if that's only if I cast the morphos first. I considered casting the morphos first because I'm just a forehead. Don't worry about it. I'm just really dumb. Okay, Chad, leave me alone. <laughs> leave Brittany alone. All right, I don't know what they have. I saw I saw like I don't know. I saw what's his face. The stupid one. Uh, Noble Hierarch. And if it's Infect, i do not really sure how we lose the game. If it's Humans, and we need to pass the turn, then we need like Explosives in our deck. So I think I'm going to put Explosives in the deck. Maybe we're supposed to put Pongify in the deck since we're in the draw. I might do that. Boop. Get out. Get out. Some like creatures removal in the deck. Cut like something bad. <laughs> no idea what I'm supposed to cut. Oh, this is the hardest part of this deck. Well, these cards seem like nonsense. I guess I'll just get them out of the deck. Boop. We're less likely to kill on turn one anyway. Great as it any cost, friendly. <laughs> Nothing is friendly about this deck. Everything about this deck is friendly. It's terrible. We're a green card short now. A green card sh short of a kill on turn one seems like incredibly high odds to just like keep and win. All right. So we're down two green cards. So we have one, five, plus eight, 13, plus four, 17, plus, I guess we're down like one or whatever. We'll just do the total math. 25, 26, 27, 28. We have 28 in our deck. Minus two, three. You have 25 hits. I think I'm just keeping this. We just have to hit any green card, right? Packed. We have Spirit Guide Morphos. Oh no, but I can't exile the Morphos. Ugh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Does that mean this was the Mulligan? <laughs> like, is the fact that I need two green cards, like, mean I'm supposed to Mulligan this hand? Glech. What do you think of Garden Great Creator, Great Creator, Mono Green Tron? I think it's great. I think the card thing is something that all of the Tron decks should be doing right now. You, I do have a lot of green cards. I have a lot of hits. I don't know. Let's just keep it and see what they're playing. I want to see. I want to see how resilient this deck is. I think this hand is probably supposed to be a mulligan, but we have both pieces of our combo and two lands. So, like, if we miss on the first turn, we just need one green card in two turns, and then we get to do it on turn two, because we don't have to use the Metamorphos. We can pitch the Metamorphos. So, we basically have a turn two kill if we draw any green card in two steps. We have a turn one kill if we hit a green card immediately and then Metamorphos into it. Now, we're probably just never going for it, right? Lightning Storm? Jesus. All right, well, we missed. We missed number one, drew the other win condition. Sick. Sick duck. Ghost quarter. All right. Yavi Maya Coast. Still need a green garden? Huh. We can lightning storm a creature. Just trying to figure out what the hell they're doing. Shock. This is like go. Do you have like a path to exile? Smells like a path to exile to me. That's a green card. Is it go time? Looks like go time. Maybe they have counter spells. Do you think they have a counter spell? I can't beat a counter spell, right? Let's see if they have a counter spell. It does not appear that they have a counter spell. Uh Cast this pitch this this cool. Cast this pitch this this. They seem to have a plan. I just don't really know what their plan is. This could be spirits. Hmm. 
This experience, I think I aggressively sideboarded badly. But I don't think it's getting better. All right. Let's grab this. Do I want to hold this land? Uh, I think I want to play this land and pass. I'm going to make them make the first move. I don't know what they're doing, but I assume we can win at instant speed. And, yeah. Like, if they go to path or whatever, cycling. I think we should try to kill them now. Yeah, let's just try to kill them now. Boop. Thankfully, this is why you don't show them Lightning Storm. Because they think I'm trying to lab man them. All right. Uh, that's unfortunate. Did we hit? Oh, no, we missed. Oh, no. Oh, no. We missed on a shoal. This is so awful. Fuck. <laughs> oh, well, at least the discards are easy. Discard this, this. Uh, I guess I need the spirit guides, huh? This. This. I need more cards to discard. I must discard until I have seven in my hand. How many do I have? Thirteen. This is reasonable. Uh, I don't think the lab man's great, but maybe it's fine. I need 10 lands, so we can discard at least two lands. Discard the other crystal brand doesn't do anything. Um, and we can disc we need to discard three more cards. I think we can discard one spirit guide. Discard one more land. And The last serum visions? Sure. Alright. We're not recovering if they answer this, Grizzle Brand, so. We didn't discard a big green card. We have a Summoner's Pact. So we can pack up the stupid worm if we hit a nourishing shell. Nice. We have no way to win the game, right? We have no way to get all this crap back in our deck. We just like whiffed and died. That's really frustrating. Like we went off on like turn two or three or whatever and then just died. Cause like we can pay for the pack, but it doesn't really get us anywhere. Yep, alright. Blech. All right. Are these spirits? Is that what that means? I mean, we saw Reflector Mage, so it could still easily be spirits. On the play, I think I'm just going to go back to, like, our previous configuration and try to turn one of them. Yep. I'm just going to go back to the previous configuration and try to kill them on turn one. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I know, Chad. All right. What does the new card... All right, sorry. Lil Tommy, I'm just now, like, reading this reading this long paragraph you posted. What does the new... What does the new card do that other card in Tron can't do? When you play Tron, you have two purposes. First, you need to get Tron Lens, then stabilize by exiling and destroying. Although the new card shuts down artifacts, it does nothing to do... Nothing to non-artifacts. Its possibility is completely useless. Its minus can be affected, but doesn't really give any removal instead. Makes the new card more vulnerable. So the new card I do think is worse than old card. I don't think you're going to be playing new cards over old cards. But I think having a combo finish is more powerful than even Ulamogs. I've seen people beat Ulamogs before, and you're not beating a Microsynth Lattice with Karn. Like I just don't think you are. And like you also get to like 
they normally board like an O-Stone and a Worm Coil anyway, and having access to that in the main deck, I think is very, very, very powerful. So you get to access, you get access to like a bunch of stuff that you already want to play in your sideboard anyway, in the forms of like Relics, in the forms of O-Stone, in the form of Worm Coil, I mean, all these cards that you already play in your sideboard, you just get access to them in your main deck by playing the new card. Does this hand kill them in turn one? Mana, mana. We have no Neoforms either. All right, all good. Neoform, Neoform, Evolution, No Rider, all good. This is a cantrip. I think I think I'm pretty hard pressed to mulligan this. Yeah, I think I'm hard pressed to mulligan this. Keep. Get rid of the fluff. So go to this, this, go turn one serum visions. Give me a green spell. This could be a mistake. Blue, serum visions. Nourishing shell. Uh, put this on bottom, put this on top. All right. So we need to pick up another green card and a rider. Sermon is going to have to do a lot of work. Tweeter, you got it. Uh... Botanical Sanctum. I'm going to hold this green card. Like now we have enough mana just for Eldritch Evolution. So we need to pick up a Rider. There's a Rider. We can cast it, but can't activate it. Let's play land and pass. We need it. now we need any green card. Fortunately there's two on the bottom of my library. And here I was trying to kill him on turn one. Feeling dumb. I wonder if they're gonna try to put some pressure in play, because right now I'm under no pressure. Like to see them. All right, they have a Knight of the Reliquary. That's a green card. All right, we get to go for it. This is turn four. All right, it's been kind of a floppy draw, and we have a turn four kill and a multi five, so that's it's a thing. Please. Damn it. All right, we'll die to a counter spell. We were too slow, chat. Blip. Well, whiffing in game two, I feel like this like this is a match that we should have won two zero that just went awry. Because we drew fourteen with Grizzle Brand and missed on a nourishing shell. With them almost deterministically dead if we hit a 4 of and 14. So, like, I feel like that, that match was, like, kind of a fluke because we saw the fail rate. But I don't know. The next one's some powerful stuff. Why is it replacing those cards? Why isn't it replacing Ugin or Karn? Alright. I have, I have a bunch to read. Sorry, I'm going to have to catch up, chat. Actual coop. You guys looked up Mycosynthalatus. Um, all right, those stuff are all main board though. I play Tron. All the things you named are main board card, main deck cards, and almost all Tron builds. New card is just slow for modern Tron. It'll make all the things you named a turn slower is a thing. Often be able to leave. With seven mana, Tiki, you can Karn plus O Stone in the same turn, where you wouldn't be able to crack an O Stone anyway. So it gives you a bunch more copies of O Stone with actual Tron mana that like 
you wouldn't have otherwise have access to. So I kind of disagree that you're just in general. I mean, you are paying more, but like you're getting a walker out of it and you're also like not able to crack Osa in the same turn. So it's not like you're actually like a lot of times you're just like wasting that mana. The mana's not accomplishing anything. Um, and I think a lot of the cards that are bad in the deck are like other cards like world breakers. Maybe you don't play as many main deck relics. Like you have a bunch of just nonsense cards in your deck. And like, I think Karn makes some of your like mopey. I got field of ruined draws a little bit better while being like main deck artifact hate, which is not irrelevant. Does this hand kill them on turn one? This hand does not kill them on turn one. Oh again. Does this hand kill them on turn one? This hand does not kill them on turn one. Does this hand kill them on turn one? This hand comes close. I think this hand's close enough. Keep this. And we bottom what? Two cards? Put two cards on the bottom? Let's put the Grizzle Brand away. And the Avimaya Coast away. Yeah, because we need two green cards. Yep, that's fine. Sure. This lets me, if I draw the Alistair Shrine, this lets me cast it on turn one. So, this gives me, now I'm drawing to a turn one, turn one kill. This is a boggle. Yep, it is a boggle. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, we missed, but that's fine, because we picked up a land. Blue, Sam Bridgens. Summer's Pact. Bottom, alright, we have a turn two kill, theoretically. And we just got the bottom two lands, which is going to be relevant for our kill, too, which is actually really nice. All right. We're doing it. All right. Back to the Tron Tron argument. Do, 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 do. I will probably put it in over fourth. I don't know if you play four. Like, I think you can play two to three, is my guess, is that you can play two to three of the new Karn. But, like, it's pretty free to do, and it only eats one sideboard slot to suddenly have a ten mana, like, instant kill in a lot of matchups. So I think it's very worth it to do. Cut an O-Stone for that garbage. Well, O-Stone, they already have played three O-Stones before, right? If my knowledge of Tron's correct, not all of them play four O-Stones now. All right, let's kill this clone. Turn two kills, huh? This deck is kind of unreasonable. All right. Here's this goofball. Cast it by doing this thing. Get rid of these clowns. Green, blue. Here's this thing. Get rid of this thing. Put this into play as an 8-8. I should like pass. I've packed it, right? I can't pass. Draw 7. Uh, draw 7. Please don't whiff. Whiskers. Oh, wait, no, we have two guides, though, so we're fine. We can actually just, like, do two guides and keep going. We can guide Cantor. I mean, it's something we should probably do anyway, right? So if we miss, we get we get six more looks. No, we don't get six more looks. We get one off the Morphos. Second off the Visions, then two more off the Visions for five lore looks. After missing in, so we know the bottom two cards aren't, so we've looked at 16 cards right now, and we get five more looks at 21. I don't know what the odds are, but I'm pretty sure they're high, so I'm going to do it. Now, this may kill me, but I'm still going to go for it, because I'm an animal. Boop. And I didn't come here to be no bitch. We're blocking some warriors. Can I actually kill them now? I don't actually know. Didn't really think about it. Oh wait, no, no, Noxious Revival doesn't do anything, right? It only does something for Wild Cantor, which might actually, that might actually matter. All right, let's, Serum Visions, Dissenters, all right, bottom, bottom. All right, let's draw our last card, I guess. Summer's Pact doesn't do anything. I know some respect we shuffled, so we don't know the bottom two cards. So it was, it was only 16 looks. Draw 
retrieve a lightning storm. Wow. All right, now I can't pay for a pact. And I can't just like kill them in response, right? Maybe we should have just tried. So we have, we did pick up the pact of negation. We could just like try to like kill them on their turn. On our turn, I'm sorry, when we had more mana. Maybe we should wait some upkeep and nothing else. Welcome back. Can't you try and kill with Lightning Storm? I need, no, I, I had exiled two guides, and I think that locks me out of killing with Lightning Storm. Yeah, all right, we whiffed. We whiffed, chat, we're owning. This deck whiffs off their Grizzlebrand activation is a little much for my comfort. Maybe I'm just going for it too aggressively. Should I like turn one try to Chalice him? Chalice seems great. Engineer Explosive seems great. These cards just interact very well. Uh, but I don't know if I want all of them. Actually, I don't even think Chalice is that good. I'm just going to sideboard two cards and click submit. You definitely should have waited. I mean, J Train, that feels pretty results oriented. Like, if I hit an Oxygen Survival, then we're going to be like, yeah, that was correct. We should just go for it. But because I whiffed, I'm supposed to wait? I don't know. I guess it does give me more mana, but if they have Path to Exile, then I have to draw cards hoping to hit the Pact. Like, if I just pass without drawing cards, my only card in hand is like a Simian Spirit Guide, if I remember right. And, like, if they have a Path, I just I just feel like I'm a big dumb idiot. Because if I draw looking for the Pact and miss, then I'm just dead because that puts me at 2 and they have a 2-2 two -two in play. I don't know. I think I played correctly. I think this hand sucks. Does this hand suck? This hand does not suck. This hand is very far from sucking. This is a turn one killzo. Theoretically. <laughs> Keep this. Put this on bottom. This is a pregame action. This is a pregame action. Okay. That's fine. We have we. They don't even know what's going on. That's that's what that is indicative of to me. They they have no idea what's going on. I'm not discarding you, big dog, and I'm not. I don't have to kill you with lightning storm. Can I uh, get my green mana now, opponent? Or are we just we're just cool chilling, huh? We're just, we're just chilling. And like, I'm going to go for it again here, too, I think. Like, if they have Path, then I want to, like, play around it. So, I think I'm going to go for it again. Call me dumb. I'm okay with it. Uh, boop this. Cast Pact. Ooh. Oh, Source Raiders. Maybe this deck wants, like, Street Wraith. No, that, that pays life. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this deck wants. All right, we're doing it. We're doing the turn one thing. We're doing it. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah. Modern. Get moderned, opponent. Get moderned. Oh fuck. Why does this always happen to me? Yeah. Yes. Finally. All right. Let's. Uh, I already have the worm, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Boop. This. All right. We can tutor up the other worm, which I guess I'm going to want to do anyway. Maybe I should do that just to thin the deck and just, like, tutor up the other worm. I don't know. Not really thinking about it. Ooh, is there a shoal or an oxygen survival? No shoal or an oxygen survival. All right. We only got one more look at another sh shoal. I don't think we have a look at an oxygen survival here, but we do have the Pact of Negation. What's the other option? Shotscape? I mean, I could try to untap and then I'll have an extra mana. I'll have an extra mana with the pack trigger on the stack. But we need to pay for back next turn? You, you, can, you can do it with it on the stack. And so you have one extra mana when you're doing all this. Uh, I haven't bottomed anything, right? So I think I'm supposed to... So I'm dead... 
if I miss. So I think I'm supposed to thin the deck. So I'm going to Pact. And grab the stupid worm. And I need to hit... Other stuff. Boop. I need to hit a nourishing shell. So I have the worm. Alright. Let's hit. Hey, I saw a shoal. Yes. Why isn't there a fatter green spell <laughs> I can just draw more cards off of? Alright, we can now win the game handily, so let's do so. Doop, 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 doop. Alright, give me, give me a bunch more cards. Let's just, just keep going. How nice. Alright, uh... Sure, let's put a shoal on top of my library. Uh, yeah, I'll just... What am I, 10 cards? Yeah, I'll draw 7 cards. Boop, do, 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 Alright, that's 3, and then we got a Venomorphose, so we're there. Okay. Excellent. Let's... Cast Exiling this. Um... Where's my Spirit Guides? Here they are. You, get out of here. Out. 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 Uh, Metamorphose. Go into blue blue. All right, let's go find our lab man. Uh, let's let's make sure we can do this in response first. No, cancel. Thank God I can't actually cast that. Uh, sure. Exile. Right, I'll just click something. Doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I just need to be able to activate twice. Exile this. Play our lab man. Draw seven. Draw seven. There you go, you died on turn one. We both played hard. Nice! <laughs> we did have to get kind of lucky there, but... Wow. <laughs> get modern. Modern, 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 modern. Click submit. This is awful. What do you mean? This isn't awful. This is modern. We're broke it. If they try to kill Grizzly, you go off at instant speed. I can't go off at instant speed. They have a ley line. And so Lightning Storm doesn't beat ley line. So I have to go off main phase. Because I don't plan on bringing in answers to ley line. That's not something I'm looking to do. All right, what is this? Does this kill them on turn one? This does not kill them on turn one. So we're going to Mulligan. Mulligan. Does this kill them on turn one? I'm missing a... I get one redraw at a Neo form, but I don't get another draw at... Eldritch Revolution? All right, I'm Mulligan again. Does this kill them on turn one? Oh no, but this has an engineered explosives, which is pretty attractive. You think the explosives buys me enough time to like draw into both pieces of the combo? Train to I don't know really the answer to that question. I'll drink to this game just in other matches. Fair. We can play it and activate it on turn two. I know it's insane. We can mull a four. We can mull a four. I don't keep this. Put three nourishing shoals in the bottom of the library. Jesus. Yeah, I do want this. All right. I don't know. We're going to need the Serum Visions to pull its fucking weight. And we need to draw a Summoner's Pact to search my library. Alright, that's fine. Alright, well, we, we did pick up another Serum vision, so as long as each Serum vision finds a piece of the combo, we're in good shape. That's a piece. That's another piece. Top. Top. All right, go. Looks like we got a turn three, right? 
Provided we find a land. Yeah, because we can pitch this, this. That's fine. Kill me on turn three. He mulled a four, and we might have a turn three if we find another mana source. Wild. Serum Visions. Alright, we're going to draw the rider, and we're going to look for a land. Neither of these are land, but Serum Visions lets, gives me another look. Do I want to try to wait and kill him on turn four? I think there's a Simian Spirit Guide on the bottom of my library. I don't think they're going to be able to kill me on turn four. Oh my god. This Serum Visions is close. So we can Hail Mary try to draw the land, or we can Serum Visions try to find the land. Blah. What do we think, chat? We tap in our bottoming the Serum Visions. Assuming they have two enchantments, they can hit me for a lot next turn. I don't think we're going to survive if they have two enchantments. So I'm actually going to bottom it. And we're going to hope to Hail Mary it. We got, we're drawing to... Three Simian Spirit Guides and 13 lands. We have 16 outs. Although we just looked at two, so it was like three hits at 16 outs. Yeah, we're going to take a lot of damage here. Bad opponent has that spicy mana type tech. We're not beating that, Trip Nip. Yeah, getting hits really bad. And, like, this is kind of what I was thinking. Like, we're just not winning the game. So, I do think it was correct to bottom, but... It's just unfortunate that we need to hit now. And we need to hit big. Alright. I'm a 10. And you could have a path to exile. This deck feels close. We drew a anyway. I did bottom it, right? I put two cards on bottom, so we drew the fourth Serum Visions. Ugh. We're just dead now? We can play an Allosaurus Rider and block. That sucks. Uh, card's not in my deck. No! <laughs> Damn it! If this was a Neo form, or if this order was switched between these two cards, we would have had a chance. We still have to get kind of lucky, but we get to put a Grizzle Brand into play. God damn it! These games all feel so close. This deck feels close. I don't think this version of it is good. Like, I think that there's a lot of nonsense in the deck that probably shouldn't be in the deck. And maybe the land count isn't correct. But this deck feels really scarily close to, like, really, 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 really broken. Because, like, I mean, we killed them on turn one. That was a mold of four where we almost killed them on turn three. And that's still ahead of the curve. And we mold to four. Like, if we could just, like, find a way to lower the, the count of cards in this deck a little bit. Like, those extra, like, slots that are just, like, terrible magic cards. Then we'll be in insane shape. Why don't we concede, Mo? We have no way of winning the game. You have Shoal and a Fatty to buy a turn and hope we rip good. Well, how do we rip, Mo? Because we we need those green cards to cast the Allosaurus Rider. So I, I think we were drawing to no outs. Like we could, yeah, we could live another turn. But yeah, like we were at 10 and like we go up to 17. And if they have like any enchantments, then we might just die anyway. But like even if we don't, we need to draw a land and two green two green cards. We have to incest or recall for free. We'll have to play first. Maybe I'm supposed to be on the draw of this deck. Oh god, this this hand is so close. This hand is any mana source away. Ugh. Wait. My brain's churning. Why is there no green simian spirit guide? Why is there no green spirit guide? God damn it. Uh, any mana source away seems like a keep. 
Also, redundancy. Yeah, we're just going to keep this. For any green source, I mean, any mana source at all away. Well, not any source at all, I guess. No, any source at all, because we can pack for the, the wild canter if we hit the Simeon Spirit Guide. All right, go. All right. Go. Miss number one. The amount of times we've drawn these two win conditions has been kind of a beating, too. Maybe I was supposed to mulligan. Go. All right. Life. All right. Now we exile Summoner's Pact, Neoform. Yeah. All right. Boop. Cast this. Neoform, sec this. All right, and then this one, because they're a trophy deck and we haven't actually packed it, I think we're gonna pass. Now we're actually going to pass and try to win at instant speed. There's no reason to do anything. And when they trophy, we're gonna go for it. Hey, look at that. Boom. Gotcha. All right, we got a Chancellor pickup, which is reasonable. All right, let's draw seven again. Where's a Children of Coralist? Maybe this deck wants a Children of Coralist. Is that insane? Feels insane. This is what, seven gives me one more activation? Uh, I'm at four. One, two. Mm -hmm. Wild. Um, we could just go for it again next turn, right? With this hand, we could just pull the other Grizzle Brand out and keep going for it. Maybe we should let this happen. I think we at least draw seven more cards. Because we have the potential of just killing them. Which is pretty nice. It just like feels pretty free to do. Alright. Boop. If we draw seven lands, we might actually just be able to kill them anyway. <laughs> Drew another nourishing shoal. We don't have another seven mana thing, so we can keep going. We actually have multiple nourishing shoals, so maybe we just keep going. Yeah, we have another Chancellor. Alright. Do this the hard way. Boop. Draw more cards. There's there's a thing. So this thing. Boop, seven. Then we can pack for the last worm. Cast. Ah right, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna try to kill them. Boop! What is this? Turn three? Reasonable. It was a reasonable turn three kill. Sell the worm. 27. We're at 14 cards. At one, two, three. I guess I should just draw like the last 14 cards. One. And then I can guide, guide, guide Lightning Storm. Seven. Alright. Draw the last cards. Exile Simi Spirit Guide. Exile Simi Spirit Guide. Exile Simian Spirit Guide. How much things how much damage does thing do? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, black green deck? Alright, Lil well, Sanctity seems great. Cutting the dissenters deliverances. Although my green card count has been kind of low. Maybe I'm supposed to cut like the Lavatory Maniac. Why does that feel insane? We have Noxious Survival. Alright, I'm gonna cut the Lavatory Maniac. I'm an animal. Absolute animal. Uh, then we're going to cut Pact of Negation. Keep my green card count high and put these back in my deck. Plus they might have, they might have a uh, Grab Fingers Cage. All right. Maybe even other Spirit Guide will be printed in Modern Horizons. I highly doubt they're, print, they're putting another Spirit Guide in Modern. It seems insane. 
the answers we always keep going. That's fair. All right, we're just going to do that. We're going to make those small changes and submit. This deck is bonkers, dude. Holy cow. It's like nice removal spell, black green deck. Bet I can't beat that. Uh, does this do anything? It has multiple cantrips, so I'm tempted to keep it on that alone. Because, like, against discard decks, I really don't want a mulligan. I'm actually just going to keep this. Because, like, having two cantrips seems great. Like, we're going to get discarded on turn one, and we're just, like, going to have cantrips to fix our hand. What are they going to do? Take our pact? Let's just take draw steps. If anything, they're banning steaming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're not getting Elvish Spirit, guys. This is not happening. It would be great in this deck. However, we're not getting it. They took Simeon's Spirit Guide. Oh, well, that's a pretty fucking good one. That Allosaurus Rider right there. Um, all right, now we're just looking for a Neoform. Botanical Sanctum. We don't want the Leyline of Sanctity. I think we do want the Land, because we want to be able to play two Serum Visions next turn, and we also want to be able to cast Elvish... Oh, uh, God damn it. Eldritch Evolution. Win it if we find it. What you got? Sure, that's fine. Nice! Take my packs! Dang, now I can't grab a Allosaurus Rider. That is very frustrating. Opponent, how do I win this game of Magic the Gathering? Boop, drop, boop. Boop, boop. Allosaurus Rider. Uh, I don't want either of these. Uh, boop, boop. Uh, I don't want either of these either. Bottom. Uh, bottom. Go! Looked at six cards, looking for an eight of. We got another look next turn. I assume there's gonna be a Liliana the Veil. Tarma Goofer. Tarma Goofer's fine. Obviously, I have Path to Exile. That doesn't do anything. Green. And Orphos. Uh, I guess we'll make blue, green. Tilt. Uh, let's play the mine because they know about it. And what are we at? Are we at seven mana yet? Can we cast this thing? Is there anything we can summer's pack for? I don't think so. It's just like the wild canter, right? Gotta go. Boop. No, stop with the discard spells. Oh, it's just tireless tracker. That's fine. It, we've made it to turn four. I don't want it to be turn four. I want them to be dead. Damn it. Oh no, that's a land. Crap. All right, well we're gonna take a lot of damage. This is not Bueno, but we already have a Nourishing Shoal, I guess. Okay. You're gonna take seven. Go to eight, we still have a Grizzle Brand activation and we have the Nourishing Shoal. So we're gonna hold. A uh, good one. Nourishing Shoal. Crap. I'm gonna hold this land. I think. Five, six, yep. Just cast a nourishing shoal for three. Go to eleven. Seems really stupid. Uh, I'm still gonna hold the land in case they have Liliana the Veil. No, we have we've had so many looks. Cast three serum visions, looking for an Eldritch Evolution or a Neoform. All right, that puts me to eight. So we have to actually cast our thing. This sucks. Okay, they're at eight. Uh, 15, take 8. Hmm. Crap. And now we're dead. Maybe it was supposed to summoner's pack there. I don't know. Whatever, we died. That sucked. We had so many looks. It was turn 6 and they weren't dead. This is utter nonsense. This kind of feels like how all the games are going. Like, it feels like we're so close. 
We're so, so close. Huh. Maybe this deck wants, like... I don't know. I feel like some, like, two mana look at a million cards might be good. Like, just, like, really, really want very specific cards, and the cantrips in Modern aren't really good enough to provide that selection. So maybe instead of, like, Metamorphos and, like, Dissenter's Deliverance, we want, like, Commune with the Gods. Or I don't know, dude. Uh, Mulligan. Uh, well, if we had an Allosaurus Rider, this hand would actually be very good. Mulligan. But we do not. Can we win on four cards? This hand's not good either. I guess we have to. Mulligan. Uh, yeah, keep. <clears throat> uh, land, land, rider. Blue Serum Visions. Center's Deliverance doesn't do anything. Alright, we're gonna have to take some draw steps. And if we get discarded, we're in trouble. Yep. Alright, we're gonna have to take a lot of draw steps. And we're gonna have to get very, very lucky. No! Our glass cannon has glass cannoned once again. Add Vanifar for the tutorable pod effect? That's like a million things. Alright, can we beat this card? I bought him to the Deliverance, right? No, they're just not in my deck anymore. Oh, they are in my deck. Yeah, they are in my deck. All right, now we need to draw a lot of good ones. Well, you're on time. That's a clock. That spell bomb doesn't do anything. It's an extra green card. This is actually a good pickup. An extra green card's good. Yep. Alright. I don't even know what this game looks like. It looks like another land followed by a Dissenter's Deliverance. Alright. This will do in a pinch. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Fortunately, this game's going fast enough. I, I'm like fine taking the draw steps, but I think we're very dead. Yeah, the amount of green cards in the hand matters a lot. The 05 Dream. Every time I play these like super glass cannon decks, I feel like we 05, but like this is about so close. This deck feels so much better than everything else we've done. Like we turned one somebody this league. But. All right. All right, I'm off it. Now, right now we're 3 and like I think they've all been one twos. Like, look at this. They've all been like these first two matches felt insanely close, and like I whiffed off like a draw 14, which was rough, and then like there, like I just mulliganed into oblivion. I mean, this deck obviously mulligans a lot, but like we nearly turned three someone on a mold of four or whatever. So like I feel like if we just get a couple slots in this deck figured out, like as much as we're kind of getting bodied, this doesn't feel like the other, like, glass cannon decks. This deck feels a lot better that just needs, like, some of the nonsense card slots that I'm looking at when I'm mulliganing to be, like, a little bit more real cards. I don't really know what we're, we're looking for exactly. Because, once again, it kind of has to be green to keep your green card count high. And, like, I kind of want it to be, like, a pseudo-free card. Like, I kind of want it to, like, reduce the number of cards in our deck. But, like, this deck feels close. This deck feels, like, within, like... 9 to 10 cards of, like, a pretty real, pretty competitive deck. Like, as it stands now, I think it needs some help. And, like, I think Canister's record of 16 and 9 with it, which is much better than my 03, but Canister's record of 16 and 9 with the deck, like, kind of demonstrates that the deck definitely has power. But I think it needs it needs some cards that we're not really sure 
where you know we're not really sure of yet to be in the deck or that aren't printed yet you don't know modern horizons could help this a lot too but i don't think this is tearing apart modern anytime soon this is a turn two kill hard to complain about that uh just get rid of metamorphos right the descenders deliver just like kind of doesn't matter so we have pact grab the thing Cast thing, exile, bam, bam, neoform. Yeah, so we can get rid of Morphos. All right, Stonebeard. Hopefully you die on turn two. That would be really, really nice of you if you did that. Pure through depths. That's not a bad suggestion, Mo. Pure through depths. Looks at five cards. What does that grab? Does that grab any card of five, or does it only grab uh, instant or sorcery? Because we want it to be able to grab both pieces, right? Shimmer of Possibility. Hagen, that's actually pretty smart. I think Shimmer is the one that grabs... It's like top four grab any card, right? Oh, they're, they're Serum Powdering? Oh, God. They have Chalice the Void in the deck. They're Serum Powdering again. They got Drazis. Alright. Let's just play this, I guess. I want to kind of make it seem like there's nothing fishy going on here. Like, so I think this land is more convincing that I'm not doing anything fishy than this land. My opponent is on their third seven. 14 cards out of their deck. Two of which is Thought Not Seers, which is kind of nice. Seeming Spirit Guide. Chalice on one I don't think does anything, right? Chalice on one. I don't think that does anything. Let's think. Let's make sure it, does, it doesn't do anything. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. Wow. Chalice on one doesn't do anything against our deck. They literally have turn one Chalice on one by exiling Spirit Guide, and we're, like, going to be doing a Spirit Guide thing that doesn't lose the Chalice on one. Wild. We lose the Chalice on zero. But that's not what you elected to grab, opponent. Boop. I'll take this one. Cast by exiling two cards. We'll get rid of this and this. Nice! This is what modern's become, chat. Turn one, turn one, uh, chalice does not beat the turn one combo deck. I'm sorry, turn two, please. Let's, what do you think, this deck is broken? Like, no, it's turn two. All right, I think I'm okay to just pass. Like, I don't know what what removal spells they have. Wait, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I summoners packed it. I can't pay for it. Now I can. Uh, I kind of just want to put this into play. Why is that wild to me? We should exile two spirit guides and pay for the pact. And then attack. I kind of just want to put this in play. Is that wild? Why does that feel wild? Just like, exile this and this. I could keep going, but I, don't, I neither have, I don't have a shoal. Like if I had a shoal, I think I would draw another seven here. I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to put this into play. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna pass. Discard a card. Buy Serum Visions. Alright, we have two Spirit Guides. If they have Thought Knots here, they can take a Spirit Guide, which kinda sucks. But they're down two Thought Knots here, so I don't I don't think they have one. And yeah, now they need another Spirit Guide anyway. To actually TKS, and I just don't think they have that hand. What do you have? Scourge. Right. Alright. Upkeep. Pay for Pact. There's two Spirit Guides and a thing left in our deck, so let's... Exile Spirit Guide. Exile Spirit Guide. Okay. Green. Green. Pay this. Oh, we just click yes. Alright, uh, let's go to combat, let's attack, I guess we should just keep passing, I don't really know, let's draw seven, let's make a land drop, do we, do we hit a shoal, we did not, alright, so let's just play this land, I guess, land, uh, we could Serum Visions. 
I'm down for that. It's Serum Visions. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. All right. Never mind. And I thought it didn't matter. Should have Dissenters Deliverance. I don't think it even really matters, though. Let's just pass. Beat this Grizzle Brand. How many cards do I have to discard? A bunch? Uh, Neoform. Neoform. I guess you should discard Evolution, actually. Land. Land. Sure. I just want to keep attacking. Should have maybe played the Allosaurus Rider if I was playing on just discarding a bunch of cards anyway. I don't really know. Not claiming to have played well. Definitely am not playing well. But fortunately, we're resilient to Thoughtnots here because none of it matters. All right, hit me for three, put me to nine. It doesn't change the math on drawing cards. We cannot kill them at instant speed, though, so if they have an answer to a Grizzle Brand, it's kind of awkward. Oh, another Eternal Scourge ain't it, Chief. Uh, okay. No? Sure, yes. All right, yeah, we drew the island already, which is fine. Maybe they'll think we, we don't have any basics now. We'll get to surprise them game two because the island's in our hand. All right. Uh. Combat. Can these things block? I guess they can. Yeah. Put you to four. All right. We're going for it now. What do you got, 35 cards in the deck? Seven. Notably, we would have missed. This whole time, we would have missed. That's so wild to me. All right. Uh, I want to put this back on... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Hold on, Drake. Stop being dumb. First of all, I'm not a rapper. We need to keep three mana, and there's two spear cards left in our deck, right? Yep. So we can blow up this deliverance. I'm going to do that. Cast, target this. Blow this up, because I feel like it. All right. Now I'm going to cast all my cards. Boop. Boop. Pay life. Here we go. Draw seven more cards. All right, there's the lab mans. Where are you going? Opponent, why don't you want to play with me anymore? I was trying to solve this optimization puzzle of killing you because for some reason you thought you were in this game. All right, well, Dissenter's Deliverance seems great. I feel like all they can play is artifacts, so I want more Dissenter's Deliverances. And I want less one drops. I want less one drops. How do I get the one drops out of my deck? Pack negation kind of sucks. Do not counter spell deck. We're cutting the pack negation for a Dissenter's Deliverance ship. I'm playing SL. Wonky ass mana sources are good against Chalice. Alright, alright. We might we might win, win a match here. Ugh. What does this hand do? Does this hand kill people in turn one? We're missing like a pact or something? Wait, what can we do? We can land... Gosh, this is so weird. We can land, guide, guide. Morphos. This is like that meme hand. Whenever anybody's like, how do you win this game? It always involves like guide, guide, morphos. So you can like guide, guide, morphos. Uh... Make an extra green... We can go like green, blue. No, we have a green already. We have a chance. So we have four mana on turn one. And then we have a Serum Visions with which to find... We have a Serum Visions and a Morphos with which to find a green card and an Allosaurus Riders. Also a draw step. This hand has to be good enough, I think. I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to keep this and guess. This hand feels good. Cape. I'll figure it out later. Keep this. We have four mana on turn one. That has to be good enough. This hand needs too much. I think this hand doesn't actually need too much. It just needs an Allosaurus Riders, right? And a green card. That's right. And a green card in four hits. Two hits. Whatever. We can also just, like, cast the Serum Visions and pass. 
It's not unreasonable. We just like hold the spirit guides, but like it feels hard to mulligan four mana on turn one with an Eldritch Evolution. Yeah, I'll do this. Okay. Opponent, what you doing? Land. Okay. Land go. Green card, land. Alright, I think we're supposed to play this first, and then we lead on the Serum Visions. Alright, we missed on the green source. Uh, I think I want the green card. We picked up another Spirit Guide. This is wild. Uh, I'm actually going to bottom this. I'm aggressive. I think, I think it's likely that we're going to hit a... Another green card before we hit an Allosaurus Riders, so I'm just going to top it. I don't really know what the plan is for my opponent. They could probably just take Eldritch Evolution. Maybe they'll Ghost Court and me think it's a strip mine. Shall someone? Shit. You got it. Go. Oh. I think now we're just a rider away from being there. Shit. Now we need a lot. Now we need a real lot. Yeah, maybe this hand was maybe this hand was too risky. I'm willing to concede that like I probably lost this game to my own stupidity. Took Manamorphose? Wild. Okay. That's an Allosaurus Riders. Now we need a green source. We almost had a turn three kill there. Despite like whiffing. Despite our deck not doing what it's supposed to do. We almost had a turn three kill. That's just fucking wild to me. Maybe we can try to ghost quarter both my lands, because I think they can. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, that thing's fine. Okay, and? I guess it's time to go, chat. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's time to go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, exile for red. Cast this. Green, green. Spin the red, sack this. All right, opponent. We both we both played really hard. We both did, and honestly, it was just a really good game. It was a good game. Uh, we didn't do anything. So do I just pass? What answers do you think they have to a Grizzle Brand? I don't think they have a lot, so I think I'm willing to pass. Huh? It's kind of weird. Cause if they do a, if they do like a thing on zero, I feel a little stupid. Maybe not. Maybe I just don't feel stupid. I don't know. I'm just going to pass. Maybe we should have drawn seven cards there. Because if they have, like, a Sorcerer Spyglass, I have to, like, draw 14 and then hope they don't have anything else. See me in Spirit Guide. That's fine. I don't know what you're casting, but hopefully it sucks. Chalice on two. Does that stop anything of what we're doing? Let me think. Uh, so it stops Dissenter's Deliverance, it stops Manamorphose, which doesn't matter. We're going to try to exile Guide Guide. Uh, Nourishing Shoal is huge on the stack because of X. Um, so all we care about is Nourishing Shoals. We care about, um, like, we don't care about Dissenter's Deliverance because we don't need to blow up either of these chalices, I don't think. We just need to, like, actually hit our stuff. All right, cool. And none of these aren't zero. They still have not figured out that you're supposed to put it on zero. Which is fine, I guess. You going to attack? Seems pretty loosey goose to attack. Yeah, opponent correctly establishing that attacking is not the correct line of play. Lightning storm or chalice on three, but I guess you can't. You don't have the mana for that, like ever. All right, let's attack. Probably gonna draw seven, and if we hit a nourishing shoal, I'll keep going. Wow, 
Well, that's a lot of nourishing shoals, so I guess I'm going to try to kill them. Boop. That's a real lot of nourishing shoals. Alright. Um... The Allosaurus Rider is the only thing worth, like, exiling, right? Oh, we can just keep going. We have another activation? God, this is so broken. Alright, yeah, we'll draw more. Any packs? Oh, yeah, we get, we hit a pact. Uh, cast it. Go grab this huge worm thing. Exile the worm thing. Gain a bunch of life. Uh, do we hit the noxious? Oh, we can't cast the noxious anyway. Uh, I guess we'll just play this. Do, 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 do. Draw seven. Here's the other worm. Cast by exiling. Exile worm. Gain a billion life. Draw seven more cards. Nice. All right. Uh, there's ten cards left in the deck. We can play like a bunch of Allosaurus Riders if we miss. We have three Spirit Guides. Oh, we already have the Lab Man. Never mind. There's no missing. Uh... Uh, yeah, there's no way there's no way we lose. Cool. White. Blue. Here's a lab man. Draw seven. Draw seven. We win! We're owning! Nice! We won the match! We won a match! We're one in three! Look at that, we easily 2 owed the deck trying to turn one some chalices. We're we're owning. That was... This deck, man. This deck is something else. I will lie to you guys. What the heck? Like, all three of the matches we lost were close. So it felt... Honestly, it did feel a little glass cannony, but... It also kind of felt like we got a little unlucky. But we've also gotten a little lucky this league, I guess. But, man. man. This deck... This deck's powerful. This deck is definitely powerful. And, like... The game's got to be miserable for my opponent because they're just, like, dying on turns 1, 2, and 3 if they don't interact. It's, like, either interact on turns 1, 2, and 3 or, or like, you need me to miss. Like, you just have nothing else going for you, right? Would you like to play first? I would love to. Does this kill my opponent on turn 1? It is really close. Oh, it's so close. Why are you not colorless mana? Any color of mana? Like, see, like, these ra these wacky, like, packs and stuff like that that just, like, are kind of weird in the deck. The thing is, if we don't, if we don't turn one, this doesn't have any mana. So this hand's just so close. Like, if this is a land, we had to turn one kill with packed backup, right? Mulligan. This doesn't have anything. This has what we're looking for. And it has Neoform. Can we kill them? Keep. One. Two. Yeah, they're just they're just dead on turn one. We mold the five and they're dead on turn one. What the hell? Alright. This is this is fine. I, I see no problem with this. This I don't I don't I don't see why you guys are panicking. This deck is this deck's fine. Alright, yeah, pitch this. Put a grizzly banner to play. Play seven, draw seven. We drew a shoal. We didn't pack it all right. We just like put it into play. All right, cool. Go. Turn one, grizzle brand. Your turn, opponent. <laughs> Let's see what you're playing. Are you going to continue playing this game of Magic the Gathering? No. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh my god, we've gotten multiple turn one kills in this league alone. Is this more consistent than, like, Legacy Storm? What the fuck? Oh, this is wild. Or at least is it more, like, likely to turn one? It's like Legacy Belcher, I guess. 
Golly. Well, I don't know what they're playing, and I'm assuming the best thing they have to interact with is Decentris, like Decentris Deliverance, so we're just going to run it back. This is not Legacy. They're, they're, they're not forcing my stuff. It's basically Spanish Inquisition. This deck feels much better than Spanish Inquisition does. This hand is missing a mana source to kill them. Seems like a keep. What are you playing, opponent? Bloodstain Mire, A. Eh? Bloodstain Mire, A. Eh? Shock. Is this Shadow? Oh, God. This matchup sucks. It's a Thoughtseize deck. They died on turn one, though. Nice Thoughtseize deck, opponent. So we're bringing Ley Lines in for game three because the Citrus Deliverances are terrible. They take Eldritch Evolution, and we need to draw, like, a Neoform. Bobble, huh? About me, I guess. Sure. Okay. Good one. Grizzlebrand is the opposite of a good one. Go. I guess, no, we just need a land, right? Because they took a pack for whatever reason, despite the fact they have two more of them. We just have, like, a stub. I don't understand. Alright, well, that's not a mana source. They could shock and put a shadow into play. It's a 1-1 one, one shadow, though. <laughs> Land. Eldritch Evolution, huh? On my draw step, you were considering doing something. And discard the Grizzle Brand. Not doing us any good. This is why you play two, I guess. Shock. They can now play a shadow and have stub up. What is this? Thought scour me. Alright, you hit Serum Vision's gemstone mine. Ace, yes, thanks for clearing out that draw step. Alright. Shadow. Need to ley line them so they don't uh, they don't thought scour me. Gurm McGoyf. All right. They pretty clearly have the stub, but we're obviously gonna try to make them have it when we draw our mana source eventually. And yeah, we drew we drew mana source. All right. Uh. What am I gonna get them to pack to this? I can. I'm owning. Do you have another pack? I mean, do you have another denial? They do. Okay. Uh. Well, I wasn't really ready for that, so I guess go. <laughs> sure. Their plan was literally just double packed, or be double denial my uh, packs. Sure. They probably should have done the Eldritch Evolution because I just lose on the spot, whereas now I'm drawing to Rider. But hey, what do I know? Maybe they just have Snapcaster for the thing anyway. Rider? Nope. Go. One more shot at it. <laughs> Two stubborn denials. Blech. Inquisition. They take a green card, we lose, so. Was it the next card? Oh, I didn't mean to reveal hand. Ugh. Was not the next card. Alright, we tried. Get Deliverance out of the deck. Put some Leylands in the deck. Ship? We could put Chalice. No, Chalice needs to be in the deck. Chalice is much better. Let's put some Chalices in this deck. Yes, dude. Let's put some Chalice on one. Uno! That is what I want Chalice to be on. Now let's cut some one drops. Nox Survival. Let's just cut like a Serum Visions. Oop. Submit. <sighs> Calculated. Just cut the Serum Visions out of the deck. Hooked Arm. Please don't play this. I hate this deck so much and I own it. Owning! What's up, Mevo? We are not owning with this deck. We're 1 and 3. Although they've all been close. This deck's pretty nuts, though. Hey, thanks for the follow, Triggered. Would you like to play first? Would love to. 
Turn one, chalice on one. Uh, where is the green spirit guide? God, this turn one's with the green spirit guide. <sighs> Tilt. As it stands, though, this does not turn one chalice or creature. So I think we're supposed to mulligan. Oh, wait, that still wouldn't even then. Mulligan, get out of here. Hey. Okay. I'll keep this. Put a grizzle brand on bottom. Uh, play this. Boop, serum visions. Allosaurus riders. Uh. Don't want to bottom this? Yeah, I don't think this does anything. I think this does something, though. All right, I assume they have a turn one discard spell. So we can't boop, boop, boop. Okay. But we're going to chalice on one and hope that's good enough, provided that they discard my Neoform here. And we're just going to take draw steps with me having a chalice and hope that they don't hit Gurmag before we hit, like, combo pieces. Yup. Yup. Oh no. I love Turbo One Combat X. This one looks pretty sweet. This one's like surprisingly good. Start owning, please. Thanks for the bits, Mebo. How was your stream, by the way? I saw you streaming today. What'd you stream and how are you streaming? How did your stream go? How are you streaming? Using Twitch. I didn't get a chance to catch it because I was on my way home to stream, so like I didn't actually get a chance. Nexus? Nice! Are you playing Simic? My opponent is seriously... I guess they're like... Really considering taking this chalice. You can't. Unless there's a green card on top. So they're probably looking to see if I topped with that stupid Serum Visions. But... Yeah. This makes sense. We're still going to chalice you! Okay. Please die to this. Please stop. Done. Go. Look at this fun card. Fun interactive. This is nice. They have to take Neo and get chaliced. Yeah. I am inclined to agree. Maybe I'm supposed to play this and just start fucking attacking. Is that wild? Why does that feel wild? Oh, they're about to play a Gurmag anyway. Oh, you clown. This sucks. You just have it. Oh, you're just like taking a spell? Sure. That's fine. I I was maybe supposed to play the rider. I admit. I admit. I was maybe supposed to just put the rider into play. But if they have like Liliana, maybe, do I do it now? I don't know. It's like a 3 3, right? It doesn't die to bolt because we got a chalice. Yes, we just cast it. Why is Chalice not a bad word? Yeah, I don't know. Chalice is awful. I hate this. Oh, I'm just going to cast it. They're, they're like 10. Cast it. Punish me. Punish me, opponent. Here's an Allosaurus Riders. So, like, it lands are reasonable draws because it just pumps my Allosaurus Riders. And, like, Neoform is obviously the draw. And, like, they can't push it. They can't bolt it. I don't really know. Like, if they have, like, their Planeswalker still in the deck, they can nab it, but... Otherwise, they can't really do anything. Yes. Okay. Pump it. Combat. Hiya. <laughs> Die. Die to my Mopey 4-4. Four four. Yes. Yes. Fetch. Grab a tap land. Now if I draw land, they're dead. They obviously don't have a Gurmag Angler. Come on. Be dead to my Allosaurus Riders. You can't shock that in. Big meanie face. Grizzlebrand. Wait, now we can't do anything, right? No, I bought him the other Grizzlebrand because I'm a genius. Combat. Put you to one. You can't flash in two Snapcasters yet. I don't even know if I'm going to play around double Snapcaster next turn. This game's reasonable. If I just played it the previous turn, I would have fucking killed them. I suck. Hopefully they concede. That'd be awesome. This is, this is manual mode. 
the beatdowns. It's still going to be like a turn six kill, right? Like, it's still not even going to be like an unreasonably long time to kill if we win. <laughs> Take that, Shadow! <laughs> this might be one for Twitter. This might be an uh, am I doing it, right? Oh, hold on. Move this out of the way. Whatever, I'll just sniff it. Oh, this is this is great. I put this on Twitter. This is this is just awesome. All right, where's Twitter? All right, let's. Oh, I need to, like, blank out my opponent's name? Oh, my gosh. What a drag. Ugh. All right, so let's get a snip. Let's get a snip without without the chat box. So that way we can just, like... Am I doing a good job? It's on stream. Why am I doing this? This is on stream. Whatever. I'm just going to get it without the, without the little, like, dialog box there. All right. Tweet. Boom. Got him. Dex busted. Please, please nerf. All right. Let's wrap this. Let's wrap this stream on up. Remember times I've had to hit people with a spirit guide and legacy red poison. Hundred percent gonna miss one. Well, yeah. Like I literally streamed this. So like. I don't really get this whole, like, thing that we're supposed to, like, blot out people's names. Like, what, what, what would happen if this random thing happened when I was streaming? Like, I'm going to put it on YouTube, too. Like, guess what? Wow. Okay, this deck. Let's do a recap. Let's, do, let's, let's look at this deck. This deck's fucked up. This deck does some stupid stuff that is not remotely within the realms of what Modern should be allowed to do. Like, all three of the matches I lost were all close. Like, this one was also close. The, like, the match we just won against Shadow was also close. But, we won. The, like, the three I lost were all, like, I don't know. They were all insanely close. And, like, a little bit of swinging one way or the other. And, like, like just something goes a little differently, we can win. And I think that comes down to deck building. I said at the beginning that, like, I wasn't so sure about, like, nine of the cards. And it was, like, these, like, weird, like, kind of flex slotty cards. Also, like... You know, how many of these are we supposed to be playing? Like, are we supposed to be playing all of this? Like, this right here looks like a good core for the deck. Like, these all are four ofs and belong in the deck. These are all numbers of cards that we're not sure, even the lands, I guess, that we're not sure how many we actually need in the deck, it seems. And, like, I think this card is just kind of utter nonsense. Excuse me. I think it's a fine sideboard card, but, like, gosh, in the main deck, it's so wacky. And, like, especially two of them, that's so many. Like, I don't know. These are, like, 11 cards, but I'm pretty convinced we need, like, some number of these. Like, having the two that we can pack for when we're drawing cards is also really nice. So, I'm, I'm willing to buy that two is correct. So, like, these nine cards, I'm not really sure. Like, do we need both win conditions? Probably. Do we need... Okay, fine. Like, if we need both win conditions, then we're down to what? We're down to seven cards? You can kind of pack... For, you can pack for this when you need it. Um, not really sure when you need it. But you can pack for it when you need it. Um, probably not that necessary. So, like, what cantrips are good? Somebody mentioned Shimmer of Possibility. I really like that one. Um, I kind of wonder if, like, Pieces of the Puzzle is, like, wacky. Like, grabs two spells so that, like, we can keep our, our spell count high. So, like, if you have Pieces of the Puzzle, you can grab uh, Summoner's Pact and, like, a payoff piece. You can grab, like, this and this. And then suddenly, like, guess what? You have all the things you need. Or you can just pick up, like, another, like, a nourishing shoal and, like, something so that, like, your combo turns a little better. I don't know. It's, like, might be a good recovery card that, like, grabs multiple things. The only thing it doesn't grab is the Allosaurus Riders. It grabs, like, every other piece of your combo and maintains card advantage. Or, like, at least goes up on card advantage, which helps with your just casting your Allosaurus Riders. The thing is, three mana is clearly a lot. But, like, I kind of wonder if, like, all those Chancellor turns or we had those extra Chancellors in the Annexes, if, like, we'd just been able to cast, like, a turn one... Uh, pieces of the puzzle if like maybe that's like good enough I don't know it's like something to think about I think um, two mana morphos is wacky maybe we want four 
I don't know. I would try to figure these slots out. I think if we can figure these slots out, this deck could easily has a chance of just being, like, unreal good and modern. It at least seems better than Ad Nauseam, which is doing the same thing this deck's doing, but way worse at it. <laughs> the Cyber Chalices were hot. Beat the crap out of Shadow, and I think that's going to be one of this deck's main predators. So I bet that, like, those Chalices are probably insane. Engineer Explosives was fine. The Dissenters Deliverance was actually pretty good. These were fine. I never played against the Counterspell deck, so, like, we never brought any of this in, but that's probably fine. This sideboard's kind of real. I think that Chalices are better than Ley Lines, because you can turn one the Chalices more often. I think. So, like, I'm pretty okay. I'm, pre I'm pretty okay with all these cards. I don't know if we need this many Counterspells, but I guess beating Counterspells can be kind of hard. Maybe not. Maybe we just don't need these many Counterspells, because the ideas were just... Like, the, all the modern Counterspells are kind of shit. And so I think we could just take this deck and get under them. Like, it still seems like a fine plan to just get under them. Friendly League's cry face. Have season or seen or reason believe over serum. Cubs fan, I don't know what that top sense you said was. Oh, seen. Reason to believe over serum to bolster. Pieces and Shimmer both co cost a lot of mana in the turn 1 to 2 deck. Well, the idea is if you're casting cantrips at all, it's because you can't turn 1 or 2. And at that point, what cantrip do you want? And, like, most of the time, it isn't Mana Morphos. It isn't Descenders Deliverances. Like, these are just cyclers. I want a little bit more selection than that. So the times I'm casting these... Like, I wasn't casting this to filter my mana that often. Like, oh, we have the Wild Cantor for that. So, like, are they just to thin my deck? Like, that doesn't really make a ton of sense. Are they supposed to be, like, real cantrips? Because if they're supposed to be real cantrips, then we would we want something with more selection. So, like, my Mana Morphos is a lot of mana... And I think doesn't really... We don't need it for our combo. We have, like, the Wild Cantor. So, like, maybe we can afford to actually have, like, better cantrips, like Shimmer the possibility. Don't know. That's my take on it after playing a single league with it. And playing against some... Like, I mean, playing against some real matchups. Like, playing against Shadow was nice. Getting paired against, um... Like, Boggles and kind of shit like that. Like, I'm actually glad that, like, I could play against these, like, non-interactive decks. Like, I didn't want to play against all Thoughtseize decks. I wanted to play against, like, some of the other non-interactive decks just to see what our fail rate was. And it was surprisingly high. And, like, Boggles was enough of a clock on you. We had Explosives, too, for that deck, which was sweet. But we ended up, like, losing a pretty close match. I don't remember what our other loss was, too, but we can go back and look at it. I don't know. Deck was sweet. Kind of scary. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it actually needs to be banned based on this. Like, the fail rate seems high enough. But if these, if these slots get figured out and this deck gets, like, any more consistent at all... Because this deck's on edge. If this deck gets any more consistent at all, then, like, I legitimately think this probably would need to be banned. Because this is just, like, a bit much. But I think as it stands right now, the format could easily adjust to this deck. Like, we can start playing more Thought Seizes. Like, Meddling Mage is a good card. Uh, all the Pithy Needles are good adds. Like, I think, there's, I think there's a lot that can beat this deck once you know about it. Once this deck's known, it's easier to beat. But, like... I'm not even sure it's something we want in our metagame, though. I could buy that argument for banning, but... I don't think that it's, it needs to be banned on, like, power level alone if we're going to allow things like, I don't know, the Modern Storm deck and, like, Phoenix and all the Dredge and all those other things to exist in the format. So, there you go. That's my take. Deck's sweet. It is actually kind of a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and killing people on turn one always feels good, but I don't think this deck, I don't think this deck's in need, in, in need of being banned at this time based on how it's configured right now. 15 lands? Yeah, I don't know if 15 lands is correct. It might, be, it might be supposed to be 16. It might be supposed to be 14. I don't actually know. Lands? It felt like this deck kind of wanted a lot of lands, but I don't actually know. Anyways, thanks everybody for hanging out. If you're here on Twitch and you have not followed me and you enjoy my content, please follow me. It's the easiest way to support me here on Twitch. and will let you know when I go live. It doesn't cost you anything at all. If you're watching on YouTube, jam that subscribe button. It'll let you know when I post more videos. It's the easiest way to support me on YouTube. Um... If you have been watching the stream, you've seen these sponsors, lovely sponsors, scrolling beneath my face. They support not just Team Nova, but also this stream, and I could not do it without them. Uh, Inkling Customs is an artist that uh, follows around a lot of the Mythic Championships, follows around a lot of the Grand Prix, which I guess are now Magic Fests, and uh, goes to a lot of the Opens. She's active at a lot of events and has some sweet tokens, and we'll make custom tokens of you. you just come up, you know, ask her to, ask her what you want, tell her what you want. Ask her what you want. Tell her what you want. Tell her what you want. What you really, really want. And she will make a custom token for you. And it, all her art looks really, really good. You can check it out on her website in the panels below or in the description below. She did the uh, artwork for the Team Nova logo and all of the Team Nova tokens, which you have seen if you follow us on Twitter. 
Um, you should check out hipstersofthecoast.com as well. You can find weekly content from Team Nova there. Um, I myself write some articles there, and we also write a weekly or a tournamently what we'd play, where it's just the, the decks that we're playing in any given tournament. Some Not every member makes it to every tournament, so it's a what we'd play for some members, but it's going to be our deck list for the members showing up as well. Uh, so you can check that out. Um, and they also have a lot of other sweet stuff for you, a lot of merchandise, a lot of podcasts, a lot of other articles by a lot of other good writers. So it'll help you get better at magic by reading some content. It doesn't cost you anything at all. It's a great website. Uh, next up, managerators.com. Could not stream without them. They are the rental service I use, both paper and here on Magic Online. Uh, their service is awesome. It's all automated. You don't have to talk to people at all. It's just all bots. And the system is uh, pretty straightforward. You know, use man hours, which is just the number of cards over time per hour. So just the number of cards per hour. Um, and it's pre pretty easy system to use. It's been great. I've used them for two years. I used them before I was sponsored by them, and their service is awesome, so I highly recommend you check it out. You can use the code TEAMNOVAMTG, 15% off your first three months. There's a link both in the panels below and in the description below to get started on that. Highly recommend you check them out. Um, and last but not least, the end games is a store in Charlottesville that we get to, you know, borrow and buy cards at a discount from. You can buy cards at a discount from them as well. You can use the code TINOMTG for 10% off your uh, singles from the end games. And they have a website that you can check out in the panel slash description below. And yeah, they've been awesome. There's the, the local game store for a couple of the Team Nova players. And um, I mean, they're just, it's run by great people. And we really, really appreciate all they've done for Team Nova. So thank you all for hanging out. Really appreciate it. We're going to raid someone cool here in a second, but I'm going to include the YouTube video. Check out the other YouTube video where we played Blue List Shadow earlier today if you're watching on YouTube. That league was also pretty sweet, and so, I don't know, got to play Sweet Modern next day. I was pretty happy about it. Until next time.